Hello. In this video, we will be taking a look at a clip from Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street. The scene we will be analyzing is one of my favorites from the entire film. It is a scene where Jordan Belfort and Donny Azoff take the Lemon 714 Quaalude, which is supposed to be a significantly stronger dose compared to the standard pill. Now, without further ado, let's jump right in. Gold! Oh, think they lost their potency? Huh? Check the bottom! January 81. They're fucking duds. Let's take, uh, let's take two more each. Yeah. Jordan! <coughs> yeah, babe. What are you two retards doing? We're working out, honey. We're both Dito's on the phone. Okay. Okay? Okay. Hey, Bo, what's going on? Jordan, listen to me clearly. I cannot talk to you on this phone. I have to talk to you. Get out of here. What's going on? Listen to me. Leave the fucking house, Jordan. And then call me from a payphone. This is not a fucking joke, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Listen, what do you say? I don't know what the fuck's okay. going on. I gotta go. Is everything okay, Jordan? Okay. Here in the scene, we have our first digital element used. In the conversation between Jordan and his private investigator, a film technique called the two-shot is used, which is when two different scenes are filmed but edited together to make the illusion that there is a conversation happening between two people. Here it is used to create the illusion that Jordan Belfort is having a conversation over the phone. The closest payphone I could get to was at the Brookville Country Club. It was a real wasp stronghold just a mile down the road from my house. All right, quick note here. <clears throat> In this scene, actually throughout the whole film of The Wolf of Wall Street, a non-diegetic narration or voiceover is used to not just narrate the film, but to give the audience an insight into the mind and thought process of Jordan as the narration is his conscious. Hey, Bo, what's up? It's me. What's going on? I'm going to pay for What's going on? Listen to me carefully. Please. Your little friend there, Brad, your little buddy, he's in jail. Again, here is another use of the two-shot to create the illusion of a phone call taking place. What's he in jail for? What'd he do? I don't know what he did. My friends in Long Island told me he got picked up in some fucking shopping mall. He got locked up. By wait, wait, did you, did, wait, wait. did you say a shopping mall? Yeah. He, he was with Donnie. He was supposed to deliver some money to that fucking fat Listen piece of shit. Me. I'm gonna go fucking talk to him right now. Listen to me. Don't go. Listen to me. That guy Denham, that FBI agent guy, somebody told me he's got your phones tapped, your office and your home. Don't talk on the motherfucking phone. Okay. Fuck. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Jordan. You, you didn't try to bribe this fucking FBI agent, did you? No, I didn't try to bribe an FBI agent. You think I'm that fucking stupid? No. What the fuck are you saying? I can't understand. Say that again. I said, well, I want to see him with the FBI agent. What the fuck are you saying? I said... Are you fucking high? I can't even move. I didn't see him with the FBI. Jordan, are you fucking high? Jordan, do me a favor. Stay where you are. Don't get behind the wheel of the car. I'm going to send the after 15 years in storage, the lemons had developed a delayed fuse. It took 90 minutes for these little fuckers to kick in, but once they did, pow. I mean, I had skipped the tingle phase and went straight to the drool phase. These little bastards were so strong, I discovered a whole new phase, the cerebral palsy phase. Come on, stand up. Okay, walking's out. All right, think. Think, what else is there? Yes, I can crawl. <laughs> yes, this is a very funny scene. However, to create the effect that these lemons have on Jordan, multiple digital, digital elements and film techniques were used. One of the most important is the use of perspective distortion, which is used to show the somewhat panic Jordan has when the quaaludes hit, also, it shows how the quaaludes affect your depth perception by constantly zooming in and out of objects in focus. Also to note, a narrow bird's eye angle is used here to mainly focus on Jordan and the physical state of drug-induced paralysis that he is in. I can crawl like Skylar.
I'd like to take a pause here and note the lighting of this scene. Here, everything in the surroundings is dark. However, the white Lamborghini is shimmering in the light, intensifying the importance it is of making it to the car. Fuck! The kid makes it look so goddamn easy. I can roll. Again, here's another example of using perspective distortion, but in a different manner. Rather than adding special effects to the recording to create the effect of being high, multiple shots using two different staircases were used. One is the actual staircase of the country club, and the other is the one that Jordan's high mind perceives. Also, this is another great example of using a non-diegetic sound to create the effect that the audience is in Jordan's head. Here it is used to show how Jordan figures out and calculates how to get to the car while being completely incapacitated. Okay, I love this part of the scene so much because it is just one long uncut clip that just shows the struggle that Jordan is experiencing. Unlike the rest of the lemma scene, which is full of cuts, edits, and special effects, this scene is a simple wide shot with a lateral moving tracking shot. The point of this clip is to really show the physical effects of these lemons. You have to crawl, roll around like a toddler, and maybe even use your feet to open your Lamborghini and drive home. Okay, that pretty much wraps up the scene. I personally think that the scene is an example of amazing and unorthodox use of cinematography, and I hope you enjoyed the breakdown and analysis of it.